Recall that the integers get their name from the same root as the word integral or integrity, meaning complete. So these are our complete positive and negative numbers. Our negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2. They're the positive and negative whole numbers. So we can look at expanding our model of piles to now be a model that has both piles and holes. So for example, let's do 3 plus negative 2. Well, we can draw that by using three piles, one, two, three, and then we can just add onto it two things that are the opposite of piles. We're going to add the opposite of two piles. Well, what would the opposite of two piles be? Two holes. So we'll put two holes in our sandbox. Now we can look at this sandbox as having the equivalent amount of sand, the same amount of sand, as a sandbox that had only one pile. And we can see that because we can look at how these piles would have respectively filled each of these holes. So we now know that 3 plus negative 2 is going to be equal to 1. And in fact, we now know as well that we could look at this in the same light as 3 minus 2, because what we get whenever we are combining addition and negatives is that we get a cancellation that can occur that's the same thing as taking some away. Now that we know how to represent our work using the piles and holes model, we can introduce another model, one of blocks and anti-blocks. It's the exact same thing, but instead of using piles and holes, if we want to represent 3 plus negative 2, we can choose to do that by having 3 blocks and combining that with 2 anti-blocks. Maybe I'll shade these in to show that they are the opposite of the unshaded regular blocks. So these each represent a minus 1, and these each represent a positive 1. If you'd like, you can imagine that these blocks are what the piles look like if you look at them from above. So the non-filled blocks are nothing more than square-shaped piles that you are looking down on. Meanwhile, the shaded blocks are square-shaped holes that we're looking down on. Well, they're going to behave in the same way as the piles and holes, in that a positive block and an anti-block will be able to annihilate each other leaving us just with an equivalent one block, which is the same amount as we would get if we had done 3 minus 2, because in that elimination, it's the same thing as if we had taken away.